वेलकम वियर्स टू रेडियो द्वारका टुडे वी हैव डॉक्टर रश्मि पालासेरी डॉक्टर रश्मि इज अ एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेडिकल ऑनकोलॉजी एंड शी इज आल्सो अ प्रैक्टिसिंग पीडियाट्रिक कंसल्टेंट हिमेटोलॉजिस्ट डॉक्टर रश्मि वेलकम टू आवर शो थैंक यू सो डॉक्टर रश्मि टुडेस टॉपिक इज टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज ब्लड कैंसर इन चिल्ड्रंस uh dr rashmi what are the early signs and symptoms of uh, you know blood cancer in children so um you know blood cancer is um, that's what we call as leukemia yeah. and uh, it is the commonest cancer um in children under the age of 18 if you take all children under the age of 18 together the most common cancer that they get is uh, blood cancer or leukemia um there are different types of leukemia there is a type called acute leukemia where the cancer starts in the body and becomes symptomatic very fast in a matter of weeks to months and then there is something called chronic leukemia where uh, the cancer starts and the presentation is much more slower acute leukemias are much more common in children um, where the cancer would have started and within weeks to months um, the symptoms come out and the children get diagnosed so as the name suggests when you have cancer in the blood um the presentation or the symptoms will be related to problems in the blood so normally we have three types of cells in the blood there are red blood cells which carry the hemoglobin then there are white blood cells which are the ones that provide us with immunity and then there are the platelets which are the ones that helps the blood clot all of these three cells are actually made inside the bone marrow bone marrow is that soft spongy part of the bone that is inside the hard part of the bone um and especially this bo- blood making bone marrow is more common in the hip bones the spine and the um, upper thigh bones and the upper arm bones so what happens in blood cancer is that the white blood cell becomes cancerous one type of white blood cell there are different types of that one type turns into cancer due to various reasons a lot of the time in children we don't know why we don't know why it happens we don't know what makes that change from a normal white blood cell into a cancer cell rarely there there are inherited reasons because of which children get it but majority of the time we don't know so once the white blood cell becomes cancerous what does cancer do cancer basically multiplies without any control so inside the bone marrow these abnormal white blood cells or cancerous white blood cells we call them as blasts they multiply in large numbers and remove all the normal cells inside the bone marrow so there will not be any normal white blood cells because of which the patient becomes uh, at a risk of infections so frequent fevers will be noticed then there will not be any good red blood cells or hemoglobin so the child will eventually develop anemia that is a fall in hemoglobin the child will start looking pale the child will have more fatigue and tiredness and the third one is the platelets so there will be a fall in the platelet production also because all the platelet making cells are replaced by the uh, cancer cells so platelets job is basically clotting the blood so when the number is less then there is a risk of bleeding so children will develop with like easy bleeding from the nose from the gums there will be bleeding spots under the skin these are the immediate problems that happen due to abnormalities in the blood but because the leukemia cells are there in the blood and it goes everywhere there are certain other things in the body that also gets affected one is that your liver and spleen which are two organs inside the abdomen inside the uh, you know stomach area of the body they starts getting enlarged so sometimes that causes some pain there sometimes it causes a bit of swelling there then there is this organs called there are these uh, tissues called lymph nodes basically a part of our immune system throughout our body they are there from head to toe in various areas um these white blood cells will go into the lymph nodes and start making them bigger so sometimes will children will get swellings in the neck area in the chest area under their arms so we call them as enlarged lymph nodes so apart from the abnormal blood findings there can be enlargement of liver and spleen enlargement of lymph nodes and then another common presentation that we see in leukemia is unexplained bone pain because this bone marrow is inside the bone right so as the cancer starts expanding inside the bone marrow you can get bone pains so normally children don't complain that much of like back ache and you know leg pains and all that 
very occasionally like if they exert themselves so a persistent bone pain especially more at night and not related to an activity and all that should be considered seriously and the child should be evaluated for a blood cancer these are the most common symptoms um, there are also children who present with a little bit of unexplained weight loss just like in any cancer because the body is not growing properly okay dr rashmi what are the treatment option avail- available for this kind of problem yeah so leukemias uh, both uh, uh, types of acute leukemias and even chronic leukemias most of them are treated predominantly with chemotherapy um the there are pretty standardized protocols developed over years of research that works very well for uh, childhood leukemias of all types um the duration of treatment varies on the type of blood cancer um some type of acute leukemias require treatment for only 6 months some may require an intense treatment for 6 months and then a maintenance treatment that is like low dose oral chemotherapy tablets for another 1 to 2 years so it really depends but the main stay of treatment is chemotherapy some amount of uh, um, radiation is sometimes given especially if the leukemia has infiltrated the brain or the coverings of brain then sometimes radiation is given to that area then the newer uh, medicines in the market now for leukemias is something called immunotherapy as well as targeted therapy so basically these treatments the immunotherapy basically works within your immune system to make the immune system work in a different way to attack the cancer cells better then targeted therapy is where the medicine that we give has a way of finding out which is the leukemic cell and go and attack only that and attack in a very efficient way as compared to chemotherapy which is more of a blanket cell killer chemotherapy just goes in and destroys every cell that divides rapidly of course cancer cells are the ones that divide very fast so they get affected more so targeted therapy and immunotherapy are sort of the newer players in the block they are very much popular among various adult cancers but nowadays a lot of them are being incorporated into pediatric uh, um, acute leukemias or blood cancers as well finally when you have a very high risk leukemia so the risk of a leukemia depends on various factors um, so the way the presentation of the child is the way the blood counts are there are certain genetic changes that we look inside the cancer cells so that can also say that this is a risky mutation this is a, a low risk mutation like that and then sometimes when we give treatment the uh, cancer doesn't respond enough or it responds initially and comes back fast all of this makes the cancer high risk so when you have a high risk blood cancer then one of the treatments that we give is something called a bone marrow transplantation um the scientific term for that is called allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplant basically the principle is that you have a disease that arises from the bone marrow from the stem cells in the bone marrow that's where the cancer comes from so you give different types of treatment chemotherapy immunotherapy radiation to sort of wipe away remove all the stem cells inside your own bone marrow and then you take healthy stem cells from a donor decided based on some matching techniques and all that and those healthy stem cells you give it back to the patient so that the cancer causing stem cell in the patient goes away and the patient gets healthy stem cells back so that's basically the principle of bone marrow transplantation and that is one of the uh, treatments for very high risk childhood leukemias not the average risk not the ones that respond to the standard chemotherapy uh dr rashmi one last question can blood cancer in children be cured sure so you know leukemias in children is one of the biggest success stories in oncology in all of oncology for that matter so when blood cancers were identified in the 40s and 50s right after the second world war and we started using chemotherapy for that the cure rates were not good we would see an initial good response but then you know invariably it came back then over year decades of research we figured out a way to completely control it and then to make it not come back so over the 40s 50s 60s 70s from about 80s onwards and 90s we have seen a remarkable improvement in survival rate so the late 90s and 2000s the survival rate has increased to a point where if you take all children with all types of leukemias and bundle it together 8 out of 10 children will have the cancer cured and survive now that is putting all leukemias together if you divide them further into low risk high risk and all that 
your low risk leukemias or what we call a standard risk leukemias have excellent cure rates to the point of you know getting close to like 90 95% cure rates so basically the chance of losing a child to an average risk or a standard risk acute leukemia becomes very very low you know like less than 10% but then the higher risk ones may not have that good a survival rate then the survival rate sometimes drops to drops to 70% 50% like that that depends on the risk stratification but overall when a parent comes to us and asks what are the chances of survival for a child with leukemia we say ask what as 80% and above because if you bundle all the cancers all the leukemias together in children that is the percentage that you get that is also because most of the blood cancers that happen in children are actually of a good risk the high risk leukemias are less common in children than in adults so that is one of the other reasons why they do well coupled with the fact that they are children they have healthy organs you know they respond good better to chemotherapy they get over complications well so all of that put together thank you dr rashmi thanks a lot for sparing time with us and sharing knowledge about no blood cancer in children thanks a lot so viewers uh, आपको अगर आज का ये कार्यक्रम अच्छा लगा हो तो इसको सिर्फ अपने पास मत रखिएगा इसको और लोगों के साथ भी साझा कीजिएगा क्योंकि जागरूकता बढ़ाने से ही वंस अगेन थैंक यू डॉक्टर रश्मि एंड व्यूअर्स थैंक्स अलॉट